All right. Uh, welcome back again. This is Suresh from Mizra Automation Channel. So in the last session, we have seen about interaction, installation, and also running the test via command prompt. And we have seen how we can run a test via methods. So in case if you are new to this session, do watch my earlier session so that you will understand this session. And in this session, we're going to see how we can run using a markers concept. So in the methods, we have used explicitly method name, but here I wanted to mark my each and every test case under some category or some type. So for that, I can use this markers concept. So I will show you how you can implement this markers concept. So I will open uh, this first demo test and right click and open with a notepad. So here you have a method names, right? So in the previous session, we have used this method name to run this test case. But now I wanted to run via markers concept. So to run via markers concept, what we need to do? We have to do explicitly at the rate pi test. So this will this will only get into the picture when you import the pi test. So if you're not importing the pi test, it will not identify what is at the rate pi test dot marker or mark. And followed by the name, the name of that marker. So you can provide anything. So in my case, I'm just providing this as a smoke. I'm just giving a name as smoke. Then uh, followed by uh, for method two also, I will provide some name. So method name and this method name is uh, sanity test, right? So one smoke, one sanity. So I've provided this marker concept into this one of the file. So I will use the same uh, for other. So for say example, this uh, demo test, test demo. So for that also, I will use this concept. Right, save. So we have a one smoke and a three sanity test. So when every build gets into the deployment and you have to run the test, right? So to run that test, you have to select which type of test that you need to provide. So basically, whenever we get a new build, right, ready, so we will do a smoke test on that, then followed by regression. And if the bulk fix come, then you do a sanity. So again, uh, open the terminal here. So uh, this was a previous terminal. Uh, I will use the terminal here again. So in this terminal, I wanted to use the markers concept, right? So to use that markers concept, we have to use pi dot test. So to use the markers concept, you have to use hyphen M, hyphen M followed by smoke. So this smoke marker has to be executed whenever I run this test. Just hit enter. So there is a warning. Uh, let's see, there is one selected. So only one selected. I think we will deal this errors later on, but you can see that there is 100% pass. It has executed this demo test and uh, you will just see only the pass results here. You will see one pass, seven were deselected. So in the same way, if I wanted to use a uh, sanity in place of smoke, so for that I can use sanity. And if you hit enter, uh, it will say there are two, uh, one pass, two failed and five deselected, but it has taken three actually. So if you go scroll up and uh, if you see it, so you can see it has eight items, five were deselected, three were selected and three were selected from where it has selected. It has provided a file name as well. So this is the file names. So from that file names, it has selected and there is a one or two failures and one pass. So it has provided one green. So in the previous execution, it has shown everything is pass. You can see the green dot and with 100%. Right. So this is a way that you can use the marker concept into your PyTest framework. So it's a simple, right? Previous one is a bit uh, uh, different where you have to remember about the method name. But here we have introduced the marker concept. With that marker concept, you can just run the test and you can see the results. So this is easier, right, when compared to the previous one. I hope this session is helpful for you. In case if you are new to my channel, do subscribe to my channel. In case if you have any questions, queries, you can comment in my comment section. I will help you out. If the session is helpful for you, do post a like and share with the colleague. Thank you.